A couple of days ago, one of the biggest streamers by the name of Bams ended up getting perma. Bam, get it like Bams and Bam. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. whatever, I'll stop. Some of you guys actually commented in the last video and you guys said that his accounts are actually back right now. It, to understand the story here, apparently he ended up getting banned, but not on one account, he got banned on both of these accounts. Oh. Then he said, I'm sorry. He never actually said that, but they're saying he said, I'm sorry. Uh, says that, but I'm back, hashtag free bans. We're gonna check out the climax, guys. Get ready for the climax. Like the video if you wanna see your games being cheaters free. Dislike the video if you love cheaters. Uh, uh, As Call of Shame says, you got soft and myth. Shame. Yeah, I recently I've put out shame, a number yeah. of videos yeah. featuring the permanently banned Warzone streamer bans. I explained to the community across multiple videos why I know he is a cheating streamer. The clips okay. I reviewed were enough to make me launch a full investigation Duh. into the streamer. We analyzed hours and hours of his gameplay. This concerned my team greatly. Hey, yo. I reviewed all- Hey, hey, hey! Yo, what team, bro? What team? Or did you just uh, change your gender? Or did you just uh, change your pronouns to be them? Is that what's happening? We need answers, Call of Shame. How many people were talking? How many people were talking? This here? shadow bands. It's like Ricochet knew there was something going on, but couldn't be sure what it was. So why did Bams get permanently banned from Call of Duty? Bammed. Bammed. A few days ago, Engine's main spoofer, that is dubbed the Iron Shield among the cheaters, was finally detected by Ricochet's silent scan. I reported on this 48 hours before BAMS got live banned. Damn. Ricochet sent out a silent ban wave that perma banned anyone using that spoofer. He caught thousands of players, including high profile streamers. Yeah, I'm actually hearing that even Nate Shot got caught in the crossfire, right? Like, yeah. And, and I know Batman made a video. I'm talking about Bad Boy Beeman, right? Guys? So he made a video as well, ex cheater. Now he has uh, turned around and he has a golden heart. He doesn't cheat anymore, but he catches other people cheating. That's that's what he does. But but he made a video on it. And, and yeah, Nate Shot actually called him out. It is crazy. It is wild. A lot of the Call of Duty streamers are taking a break. Uh, I do. I would like to believe that there are false positives as well. Well, maybe, I don't Bruh. know. I, I mean, I couldn't tell you. I'm not working at Activision, right? So I, I would like to believe that there are some false positives, but it's like Bams ended up getting banned on both of his accounts. So some people are assuming that he got IP banned. Others are assuming hardware banned. And I read a comment from you uh, guys as well, one of you, that said that, nah, bro, like, it's fine, bro. He, he's back. I'm not sure whether that was a fanboy, whether he, uh, whether that was a fanboy of Bams or whether uh, he was watching, like, an older video where his accounts were free, but now he's banned, whether he's back i'm not sure right i believe bams was caught up in that band but wait for it wait for it the actual extent of how many high profile streamers have been caught is still unknown most of them were not streaming at the time i am still conducting an investigation to see how many high profile streamers have been affected by yeah, the yeah, takedown yeah. of engines iron shield which is still offline when ricochet detected the spoofer this shield that hides the cheaters pc fails resulting in massive perma bans Ricochet are now a force to be reckoned with. Okay, okay, that's Make good, no that's good. These clips I have no problem with. I've seen thousands like it back in the day, especially on Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I've been there and I know what a good player looks like. I spent Damn. years playing game battles at a very high level. Trust me, I know. I don't okay, just call- uh, trusting you with, uh, with my life, but definitely not my wife, though. <laughs> definitely not my non-existent wife, though, okay? I can trust you with my life, but definitely not my wife, bro. Call everyone a cheater. My videos are based upon evidence and unnatural gameplay. Again, I have the experience in Call of Duty at a high level, to know who is cheating and who is not. But when you start pushing the boundaries, by doing unnatural things that require- I agree, it's like, not even the aliens can laser people through walls like that. Come on, dog. Like, what are you doing right now, bro? And guys, before we get to the climax, before you get to see the best part as to what went down, I have a UFO channel. Bruh. This is where we upload UFO content, alien content, conspiracy content. If you're into that, it would be, it would absolutely be a pleasure to have you there. Uh, and if you got Twitter, definitely follow on Twitter. I right, let's get back to the content here, boo boo. Third party tools, that becomes a problem. Call of shame, or proud yeah! to <laughs> I literally just did that. Shout out to Call of Shame, first of all, but- are now contemplating next. their next move. I've been thinking about for a while. It. And um, I think I'm going to be taking a step away from Warzone. And I don't know if it's going to be for a couple months or a year, but I've just honestly not been having that much fun with this game recently. Aiden, a popular Warzone streamer, is running. This cheating streamer yeah. has had enough. <laughs> He's gone. The detections are going to get more intense. 
as Call of Duty attempt to take back their game. Now, listen, man, I, yeah, it, it doesn't look good whenever, like, something like this happens where, like, a band wave is happening, like, streamers are like, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take a break. I, I know it looks suspect, but how many of you guys think that it's due to that? I, I mean, right now, honestly, though, like, Call of Duty is really in a down, down, uh, downward spiral. I, I'm not sure if you guys actually heard this. I, I should have had a video on it already. These seconds are releasing a monkey punch for $80, though. $80. Could you imagine? For $80. We should have a video on it already. We talked about it. Uh, definitely check it out. But yeah right like if i were them i wouldn't be playing call of duty but you gotta understand that like uh call of duty is like their job so when you actually apply this logic it's like bro it's your job play the game play the game right play the game so it seems hella suspect you think they're just uh quitting because like game is not fun anymore taking a break because game's not fun or do you think that there's definitely some suspect happening what you guys think what i really want to do is just be one of the best battle royale players of all times and i feel like i've I've done a lot already in Warzone, and I'm just kind of- But you cannot be the best Battle Warzone player, Battle Royale player, if you stop playing, bro. Like, you, you cannot take a break, bro. You cannot take a break. But play the game every day, bro. I'm kind of over it, and I'm going to be moving to Apex for a little bit. Absolute clown behavior. <laughs> Reports were also coming in about more Warzone streamers leaving the game. The same game they built their careers on. Remember the guy who said this? <laughs> who listened to people like... like Call of oh, shame, yeah. Well, he's also had enough. Utterly embarrassing. Might be time for a new venture scene. Warzone ain't hitting it like he used to. Wow. Yay. Okay, nah, 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 nah. I'm starting to believe that these things are uh, doing it on purpose because of the cheating bandwidth that's happening. Yeah. Like, everybody's like pacing out right now. And uh, Aiden is like moving to uh, Apex Legend now. Nah, that's a hella suspect, bro. Hella suspect. I tried to reach out to him for a comment. But he was not I'm available. Meanwhile, news Karens like Jake Lucky <laughs> refusing to even report on it, but instead speaking to the creator behind the scenes, already spinning a narrative. Uh, if this is a false permanent bame, uh, what do you think the reason for it is? Bro, Call of Shame is so cringe. Uh, dude makes a career out of spreading rumors with no real proof. Bum -bum -bum yeah, this was tweeted by Daisy Michelle. Okay, strong, independent, need no man. But men are always just manipulating. Yeah, okay. There is no such thing as a false ban. You are only permanently banned if the Ricochet anti-cheat has detected something on your PC. While investigating this permanent ban, I was able to see that many people have been posting images on social media, claiming they have also been permanently yeah, banned check this out. to try They're and dilute the back. BAMS incident, while impression They're farming at the same time. The team dismissed this as nothing but simp propaganda. Around okay. midnight, I received reports that BAMS was attempting to make a comeback, but they always do. Now he's using like a stock uh, video of a guy and now I'm like, I'm confused bro, like... Uh... <sighs> Man, Call of Shame definitely getting me cock blocked right now because sometimes I think it's a female, sometimes I think it's a male. Come on, why are you playing hard to get, boo boo? Come on, bro. Like, why are you playing hard to get? Tell us, like, like, tell, tell us, like, whether you're a man or female, bro. Like, so, uh, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you're playing hard to get right now, it feels like. Do this. All these people have been permanently banned by Ricochet, and all these people have simply came back. Yeah. This is because all the bans are against the computer's hardware, not the individual. And Call of Duty will never enforce any ban evading policies based on the individual. Bams, who has been permanently banned by the Ricochet anti cheat, is trying to make a comeback. I worked through the night, and as the coffee arrived, I proceeded. Yeah, I, I read a comment like a guy was saying that he's apparently back. So I'm not sure whether his like main accounts are back. I'm not sure whether that's real or not. Like first of all, definitely let me know. Uh, uh, and yeah, like some people are also imagining like what if he used. An uh, unlock tool for the... I'm not sure, like, there's a whole lot of uh, excuses being thrown. Some believe that he, he is 100% cheating. Others believe that, no, bro, like, it's just a false positive. Now, I'm kind of, like, in the middle of it, right? Like, I, I need to know what's happening. I mean, the clips that Call of Shame is uh, showing, suspect. Hell, a suspect. Based on those clips, it's like, dog, he's moving faster than the UFOs in the skies. He's, like, not even seeing the guys, but able to, like, one shot across the map all the time. Okay, once or twice, understandable. You know, once or twice, you can get a trick shot understandable but if you get it like every game all the time now come on bro like yeah we stupid but we ain't that stupid right so yeah it, it happens but uh and then he get permanently banned not on one account but both of these accounts 
it's looking hella bad. And he didn't he didn't necessarily defend on stream. He was just like shocked kinda as though like he wasn't uh he didn't think that was gonna happen. So that's another factor. But still, right, like maybe he thought that no matter yeah, it's like it's kinda weird right now. So what what you guys think? Hundred percent cheater or nah bro, like false positive, bro, false positive. No, bro, he never cheats, bro. He map knowledge, bro, map knowledge map knowledge or cheater a cheater. To investigate this, as I really wanted to see what Bams had to say. He will now try to link some CDL players into this incident, such as Nadeshot and yeah, 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 yeah. Nadeshot Same problem well. of getting banned on Call of Duty. The first one is Nadeshot. Now, Nadeshot was playing ranked play and then this happened. Nadeshot as well, yeah. I just got banned as well. Uh, although with Nadeshot, a lot of people are like, hey, no, he does not cheat. Uh, it says that you have been disconnected, but I believe like right after that he's gonna have the menu pop up for ban. But but yeah, I, I personally do not watch Nate Shot, but oh, of course of course I'm aware of the guy. Uh, I if you were to ask for my opinion just as this, I would say nah, Nate Shot is not a cheater. But understand, I'm saying that as somebody who does not watch the guy, so yeah. I, I'm just letting you know, right? Just letting you know. I I don't think he does cheat, but n now that he also got banned, uh, he uh, Bams is using him as a shield right now. Yeah, it looks like that he's really using him as a shield. Bad Bad boy Beeman, Batman, he made a video on Nate Shot that he cheats. Uh, Nate Shot responded to the guy. <laughs> it was kind of hilarious. Saw that li happening live on Twitter. This is why I'm saying if you guys got Twitter, it would be a pleasure to have you on Twitter. Guys, this is my Twitter. Let me show you some but but yeah it's kind of suspect right uh right now a lot of people are believing it's like false positives some are believing it's like cheaters uh we know that a lot of people are cheating in this game and it's like getting very very hard it's not hard to tell who's cheating but it's like really getting hard to see this bull crap like y you feel what i'm saying it's like till they don't get permanently banned even if they nowadays even if they get permanently banned Sega's gonna be like no bro it's not cheating bro it's not cheating but it's like when nate shot gets banned then a lot of people are like yeah false positives i i, I don't know man it's kind of like 50 50 right now where are you guys at Later, you've been disconnected from the servers it's a pleasure or actually i don't know if i got banned but i got kicked yeah, you got if you're gonna you're gonna be banned you back on Oh, okay, right, yeah, they're go. telling him you oh, get banned. That's that's that in. Well, yeah, yeah it's, it's... You know, he's, he's just memeing, you know, everyone in the chat is like, deserved. No way, lol. Everyone's just like, laughing, you know? Everyone is just like, there's no way that this just happened to Nate Shot, who is a former pro that's been in the Call of Duty scene for a very long time. An owner of an organization, one of the biggest gaming organizations, 100 Thieves. There's no way this happened to him. There's no way he got banned on Call of Duty. This is what is called misinformation. <laughs> Firstly, this is simply temporary, not permanent, which didn't even last an hour. Some have even claimed he was banned for cheating, which is absurd. Yeah. But if we roll back the footage, we can see the exact reason why he was temporarily banned. Okay. So it's a different ban. You're a fucking asshole, bro. You know that? I just got banned as well. This is. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, he said the a hole word, right? Is it, is it because of that? It's called a profanity filter. It will what? quicken temporary ban in some occasions. Some players get kicked. Others will get longer timeouts. Okay, I was not aware of that actually. Holy crap, bro! This is insane. Cause I I read uh, I read your guys' comments, right? You guys are also say, uh, sometimes tell me like, hey man, I got banned like multiple times because of the AI chat thing because I said some words and the the AI didn't like it. And it's like, oh man, this is absolutely absurd. And we did a video the other day where the the Wokies are demanding for toxicity rating for games and they're trying to bring like the social credit like system. We already have a social credit like system, bro. Suck is getting banned for no dang reason right now he just said the a-hole word and then batman made a video saying that he cheats bro he cheats so yeah i mean nate shot does not cheat and now bams is using that as a shield uh, as well that you see like he got banned as well he got banned as well he got banned see i got banned he got banned so that means that uh nate shot doesn't cheat that means that i don't cheat so he's using that as an argument which doesn't yeah like it, it is a hell of a suspect right now based on based on that alone I feel like that Bams definitely, uh, definitely got banned for cheating, actually. You can oh, or maybe for unlock tool, maybe for unlock tool, or you Bruh. think that's that's like a whole lot of hopium and copium? Well, what's you guys connected think, for man? something you even said in a recent game? Please do not confuse these with permanent oh. bans. They are absolutely not the same. I just got in perma banned. Yeah, he we got know. perma banned. We all yeah. watched. E, uh, funny how Call of Shame thinks DS4, Call of Shame is nothing but a clown, and all those people that call Bams a cheater or hacker. What?
Uh, that video was garbage. Bro made, <laughs> bro made a PowerPoint. No, bro, I don't care. You're cheating. He wants. Uh, I just can't believe the comments. The dude literally had nothing. But, yeah. Uh, where are you guys at with this BAM situation? And guys, click on this video on the screen. Yep, in this one, you're going to find out the truth about the social credit-like system that's coming to gaming right now. It is absolutely absurd. Coming to GTA 6 as well. Call of Duty. Even Minecraft is involved. Click on this video on the screen, and I'll see you right there.